Hello and welcome to another Nihongo Gamer video. Today we're going to be unboxing the Monster Hunter 4G, or Ultimate as you call it in the West, cover plate for the new Nintendo 3DS. This is a cover plate based on a character called Poogie in Monster Hunter 4G. It is a pig, and I think it's just your pet in Monster Hunter. I think you can actually use it for something in the game, but I have not yet figured out what you're supposed to do with the pet. I just know that it's cute and that you can pet it whenever you feel like it. So let's go ahead and unbox this cover plate. I will just rip it here. I think it's just, yep, just rip it down there at the bottom. Peel this open as well. Take this cardboard, chuck it over there to the side. Okay, let's open up the plastic. Just take that, oh, okay, it's fallen out into the front part. This is some kind of instruction manual for how to put the case on. We already know how to do that. This is the back of the case. Blue and white stripes. Very cute. Very, very cute. I like that a lot. And here is the Poogie face cover. So actually, I think because I already have a mushroom face cover, if I used both peach covers, I would have uh, a two-faced 3DS. Hmm. Good joke. Okay, so that is what it looks like, the top cover and the back cover. As you can see, it says Monster Hunter 4G here on the back because that's what they call it in Japan. On the bottom, you can see that's where the game card goes in and the headphone jack. It must be like a rule with all Nintendo products. They must like have to put game card and the volume um, icon on all of them. Just gray on the inside, nothing too special. And as you already know, these screws are always flush. Like even the kind of infinite screws, you just screw them as much as you like and they always stay flush. They don't actually pop out of the device, which is cool. So let's put it on our new Nintendo 3DS. All right, so I have my new Nintendo 3DS sitting here and my Poogie cover here on the left. Let's go ahead and put it on. Let's take the original covers off that I've been using recently. I really like this combination with the Super Mushroom and the felt cover. By the way, I've been using it for about a week now and as you can see, it doesn't really rub off. I thought that maybe it was gonna get moist and just kind of start to go a bit dull where my thumbs, or sorry, where my fingers kind of sat, but it turns out it has been okay and has not really been a problem. So anyway, I'll just pull the covers off and put them down there. Now let's take the Monster Hunter base cover. Look at that, that's cute. Oh, I'm really excited about this. And let's slide that on like so. Okay, oh that's so awesome, I'm so, so awesome. Okay, <laughs> it's only the back cover. Okay, so the back cover is on. Let's put the front cover, oh, oh, it's upside down. Okay, now put it like this, put the face on. Oh, it's a kind of, oh, whoa, that's kind of scary. Okay, looks a little frightening from the front, but I guess I could get used to that. And then when you open it, yes! How awesome is that? The Poogie Monster Hunter 3DS. This is how it looks when it's bent. This is what it looks like when it is flat. Here is a close up of the corners. I will just give you a quick turn around like this. Looking pretty good. And what it looks like from the corners on the front as well. Yes. So yeah, that's what it looks like when it's open. That's what it looks like when it is completely flat. That's what it looks like from the side. That's what it looks like from this side. And this is what it looks like when it is closed. So when it's folded like that, looks really, really cool. I'm very excited about that. Okay, that's all I have time for. I just wanted to show you the Poogie Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate cover plate for the new Nintendo 3DS. I think it looks really rather awesome, and I can't wait to do some mixing and matching, which I will do in a future video. Don't forget to comment and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. It actually feels lighter to hold than you. You're better off just watching video in the browser. It's nice if you want to play your DS games with a larger screen.